Welcome to Geneva and WISIS Forum 2022. With me is Vladimir Stankovic, who is one of the WISIS coordinators at ITU. Welcome. What are your reflections on this week? Thank you for having me. Uh, finally, after two years, we're back to the physical format of the WISIS Forum. I've been very pleased to see so many happy faces, uh, most of them really appreciating the efforts of ITU and other WISIS co-organizers and coordinators what we have done so far, especially during the COVID-19, where we went fully virtual and hosting more than 250 sessions each year. This year, we started on the 15th of March with more than 150 sessions, finalizing during the current week with uh, more than 100 sessions, high level segment, but more than that. We had an amazing outcomes at the VISIS exhibition, at the VISIS knowledge cafes, round tables, and of course, the ceremonies and announcements. One of them I would like to highlight is the VISIS Prize 2022 ceremonies. On Tuesday, we have announced the 18 winners, and I would like to use this opportunity to congratulate all of them. And of course, uh, our champions uh, who were also celebrated the day after. The recording, of course, is available on the VISIS Forum website. I do invite everyone to take a close look uh, to celebrate the success of the winners, champions, the nominees, but everyone else who has contributed this year to the implementation of the VISIS process, through the VISIS prizes, through the VISIS stock taking, and through many other processes that we have been started, thanks to the external stakeholders. So the VISIS forum itself, from its beginning, has been very unique, uh, multi-stakeholder, inclusive, crowdsourced. Everything that is happening at the VISIS forum is because of the requests coming from the VISIS stakeholders. So very happy that more and more stakeholders are recognizing VISIS platform as their platform, as their home where they can share knowledge, information, promote the good work of ICTs in their uh, communities and networks, and of course, on the global level. We at the VISIS Forum are really trying to amplify the voices of all of them, individuals, different groups, through special tracks, through um, many various formats, and I would like to mention some of them. We have had the very interesting outcomes coming from the ICTs and youth special track, ICTs and older persons. For the first time, we have held the intergenerational knowledge cafe. And it seems like that in the future, this topic will hold a special, special place at the VISIS Forum and uh, beyond the VISIS Forum itself. Of course, um, besides this, we have been working with healthy aging communities and many stakeholders that were involved this year we had the second edition of the VISIS Healthy Aging Innovation Prize where the three winners were announced so we also would like to invite everyone to follow closely on that the photo contest was also there the finalists were announced the winners were announced you have had the opportunity to also see the exhibitions also dedicated to the photo contest to the VISIS prizes of course to our partners who have been so so um, supportive so for so many years uh, and the new ones coming and we look forward to the future of this forum events. And um, I've been really struck by how appreciative the projects are of the WISIS prizes and how helpful that recognition is to driving forward their progress to meeting the sustainable development goals. Indeed so. Since uh, we started this process in 2012 with the WISIS prizes, the numbers were good perhaps, you know, as every other start, shy. But very soon after that, we moved to uh, close to 1,000 submissions coming from around the world. It means that the community is recognizing this is Prize as, as a very important platform to showcase the good work. I always say, what we do here is to promote ICTs for development, rather than promote a particular project or a particular entity, country or, or a region. But uh, even they get their piece of cake and I'm very big happy about uh, being promoted. Uh, each year, newcomers, some really amazing projects out there. Everyone's being very happy about it. Wherever I meet people on the corridor, in the meeting rooms, they're discussing how important the VISIS Prize Award is for them, mm. how their community is seeing this back home, how their ministers, presidents, prime ministers have been congratulating them and I look forward to seeing their promotion and to further promote it back at the VISIS Forum. Well, congratulations to you on helping to coordinate such a successful week. Uh, Vladimir Stankovic, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.